Hey, what's up, tribe? I'm uh, in my car for a minute. I got six minutes. I just posted the information about um, my shadow, my shadow work. I just posted the image on TikTok. Um, I just did it on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I only have a few minutes to talk about it now. However, I'm telling you all, this is like a wonderful thing. Um, at first, of course, I was scared. I was like, why is this entity? Like, I'm used to these things like that. When I was in Atlanta, my house was like a train station, a metro station for those of you all in D.C. for entities because in and out, in and out, it's, it's a normal thing for me. I see those things. It's not no big deal. Um, I just, the last time I was bothered by one was um, something was coming and saying, hey, hi, don't move, don't move. And I would lay in the bed and not breathe and not do whatever. And I just got tired of it. And so I asked Mama Bear, I'm like, Mama Bear, what is this? It's that. And of course she said it was just me. It's just my energy, whatever. I'm like, okay, I don't know what that means because why would I scare myself? And then um, Sheikh Sufi came to the house and had one of his spiritual events, his zikr. And um, for some reason, the entity came at him and he let out a, a sound um Sheikh Sufi let out a sound and this thing got scared and went flying to the back door and so at that moment I felt bad I was like oh shit I did the wrong thing you know I got it in trouble with Sheikh Sufi and so I went to the back door and I was like okay I'm gonna let you out however do not go through me do not pass through me do not nothing I'm just opening the door so I opened the door and let it out and so from there, all, it's like the realization just came to me, just flooding to me, like millions of bits of information was like, okay, these are what these beings are. These are what they're doing. This is the reason why you're seeing it. You're a Reiki master. You've always been spiritually connected since you were like two, three years old when you used to scream and holler during your dreams, wake the whole house up, scare the whole house. You were that spiritual self and now you're remembering yourself and now you see all these things going on and you just were never trained in it and of course when you hooked up with mama bear and um baba and tribe in atlanta and tribe in alabama and sheikh sufi of course all these beings all these things are gonna start you'll see them you'll know them like your old friends your old like the way of life you're seeing now is how life is really for you and so at that point is um, remembering, remembering. And and the fear is going to be there because I've seen some beings that, um, you know, I was told not to call them monsters. And so respectfully until I get their, you know, their name, like my name is Storm before I get their name. It's like entities, entities. I can't even say it because I've had my tongue pierced twice. So entities, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm going to get it pierced a third time and keep it this time. So anyway, I digress and um so these beings are always around and another one of my gifts is i've had like three people's three people around me who's um four whose parents have recently transitioned and they came to me uh, one came to me while they were still in hospice and it's like they just started talking to me and i was like what <laughs> you know and so I just talked to them back. It's like, it's like no big deal that stuff is in my house and stuff. My grandkids travel like that. So it's like no big deal. <clears throat> my middle daughter has sent me a um, video of her daughter talking to her spirit beings, like having a full conversation, everything. And she'll just tell them what's in the house or who's in the house or whatever. And it's no big thing. So we know those things now, you know. So when this entity showed up you know I was perplexed because I was like okay because I wasn't in the mood I was in full you know I'm tired of being scared tired of being this I had just recently been showing what I look like and embracing what I look like what my spiritual self looks like so I was on the badass tip I was like anybody can get it um, physical realm spiritual realm whatever I, you know I was being I was being stormed and uh so anyway and when I was like what what do you want why are you in my house in the middle of the night trying to scare me and it walked over in my room and sat down on the bench at the end of the bench and started crying, crying, like crying, crying. Then I wasn't even sympathetic. I was just like, um, turn my alarm off. I got to get ready to go in a couple minutes. I just wanted to share this because I just told people to come here from Facebook, 
Instagram and TikTok and I just realized that I got some other stuff to do before I can get knee deep in it just DM me we're gonna do a zoom I'm gonna talk to you about everything we will do however many sessions that you all want to do so we can get everything out in the open so you can understand it so we can talk about these things so you know so you can see the things that have been showing up in your life and maybe they have or maybe they have not maybe you're just curious about the story or whatever like that um, so anyway, 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 so I was like, why are you crying? What is? Get up. Stop crying. Deal with your own shit. Like, I don't care if it's energy that I released from myself. I released it for a reason because I don't need it. And you got to figure out who your God is and your way and what you need to do because I don't know that. I'm not trying to know that. I got enough going on with myself. I'm trying to be straight myself. Do you see how much trouble I get myself into? Like, I am forever getting in trouble and i'm tired of getting spiritual spankings i'm tired of that for myself i just want to exist as myself so i was working on myself i don't have time for all of that <laughs> so anyway this being would not go away no matter what i did what i did with it and of course what always happens when i listen to some of my spiritual people i stumbled upon um, brother panic recently talking about his shadow self and the work he did on himself and stuff like that i remember my my sister my triangle um my best best friend and she did shadow work and she was missing MIA from my life for like a year or so and she would call every now and then to talk but she was deep into her shadow work and so I just really never crossed my mind that I needed to do some shadow work I'm like unforgiveness have none this and that have none then last night they were talking about the xenon um, on one of Brother Panic and Uncle Hanky's and Melanie's um, YouTubes. And I said, well, maybe, you know, I'm not afraid. If there's some anger still there, if there's some healing that needs to be done, if there's some forgiveness, which I don't believe in, but okay, I believe in it, whatever, whatever, then I'm willing to tap into that, to release that. Because where I am at now, I understand that. I should have said none of the shit that I've ever shit, said shit to people about and blamed them and this and that. Because it was all me. I created myself. I manifested myself. I put myself in the situations I am so that my spirit can have the experiences that it needed for itself. And that's nothing to be mad at myself, mad at anyone else to need forgiveness for or to be angry about or none of that. I'm existing now as myself. Hashtag PhD and me. <laughs> so I love that energy now. It's like no problem, no issue. You know, my intention is all that matters. Okay, I'm not going to go into that. Just want to tell you all that again. Go to my YouTube, go to my Instagram at Inside First. You can find out all the information you need to get to my YouTube. Just pull up one of my posts and it'll show you the YouTube channel or just um, Google um, Inside First. My name is Storm Jackson. You'll see me, you'll get to one of my videos and it'll lead you to the right video. So the only people who are going to find me are people who are in the space that they feel like they can get something from me and move on. No one's going to be able to find me who's not in that space. If they do, they're not going to be able to stay because I have nothing in me to give a person who needs something from me. I just have something to share so that you get your own confirmations about yourself okay i got to go i got to go i got one minute i got other stuff to do i will maybe be on later today but if not dm me at phd and me um phd underscore i n m e or dm me at in the letter n side first or get to me some kind of way it's it's it's, it's all there if you really want to find me okay ah wholeness <laughs>